Good morning. This is Shark's Tail Corporation Limited, the professional manufacturer and designer of micro brushless disabled pump dials. In this video, I will call it to roughly display the power core type of our high power micro brushless disabled pump series. Yeah, and also some information about the power adapters, power supplies. Okay. So this pump placed on the table, yeah, it is our two-phase designed high power, high pressure, micro brushless DC pressure with pump, DC 55JE24320 A model. Okay, A means adjustable, so this pump supports being power regulated and used to flexibly adapt to different systems parameter at different moments. As we see, this is inlet, this is outlet. Both ports are half inch threaded with external diameters of about two centimeters. So it is the normal standard for the household pipe connection. Perhaps it is BSP, yeah. Okay, inlet, outlet. As to the pump parameters, let's take a rough look on the sticker. Okay, the rated Wattage of this pump is 24 watts DC and rated power consumption can reach 160 watts. Uh, we can roughly see that each phase can uh, have the power consumption about 80 watts. Yeah, so it is two phase cascade water pressure pump. Okay, this pump is max sturdy lift can reach up to 32 meters. So it is quite high lift value. And the max horizontal flow rate of this pump can also reach about 2,000 liters per hour. It's a parameter description regarding this pump. And then let's take a look at the composition or structure of this pump. Without any doubt, this is phase one, this is phase two, and two phase together. Can, yeah, as a whole, is the pump body of the whole pressure pump, inlet, outlet half inch threaded ports, and this is the base, rubber base, has certain performance of anti-vibration and the noise. Okay, and this is the pump body part. Then we go to this rectangle shaped metal designed box. This box, actually, it is the control box part to the whole pumping system. Yeah, it is not power supply. Please do not be confused. It includes the main control and protect circuits of the whole pumping system. So brain part, body part, as a whole, it is a pump, yeah. And as we see, our pump does different parts adopting the uh, modulized design. So it can remove when uh, in some bad scenarios, if we happen to damage this part or this part, we can remove it off and replace with the new part. Yeah, if we have one. Okay, let's take a look on this, um, the, this cord that connects the pump body part and the control box part. This is the water pool connector here. Yeah, actually we can see there are six pins. Yeah, from the control box part to the pump body part. Three pins will be used to control phase one. The other three pins will be used to control phase two. Okay, we just uh, take a brief look of this connector between control box and pump body. And then let's go to the control part. Yeah, this is the power cord. This is the potential meter lob where the users can rotate the potential meter lob to adjust the pump's power and then the flow, the lift, when the pump works in the system. Yeah, it is quite flexible for us as users to do such work, to adjust the flow rate, to adapt to different demands. Okay, and this is the, we pay attention to this power cord. Okay, this is a specially customized four pin connector. If we look for, uh, starting from the gap, okay, anti-clockwise, these two pins will be positive, the other two pins will be negative. 
why it is designed in this style, in, in the format of four pins. Because this pump, as we say, is power consumption reached 160 watts. Leveling working current is about 6.7 amps. So it is high working current when the pump works. So uh, this design will enable two pins to handle one polarity. Positive, negative. So each pin will receive half the current when work, right? To strengthen the ability to handle the high power when the pump works. Of course, it is the customized special four pin connector. And essentially, if we cut it off, there will be two sub cables within. One will be positive, the other will be negative being powered by our matching DC 24 volts power supply. Okay, no matter what, it is DC appliance. And DC appliance must be powered by DC power supply. No matter whether it is power adapter, or DC battery, or solar panel, or other various DC modules. Okay, make sure DC 24 volts and the power is enough and Essentially, there will be two sub cables within, one positive, the other negative. Yeah, it's that simple. Okay, potentiometer lob, and this is the power cord. Yeah, though it is specially customized four pin collector. Uh, especially regarding this pump, it has some typical feature. For example, in our default design, this pump is equipped with the dry run protection mechanism. Okay, as we see, our pump cannot be self priming namely that it cannot pump with air and then with water. There exists the premise that the water can actively and sufficiently flow into the inlet and then pump push or throw the inflow out of the outlet to achieve the performance of pumping. Two phases, the high speed rotation or impeller, and it works by the centrifugal force. Okay, so this pump is equipped with dry run protection, namely when there exists no or insufficient water inflow into the cavity of the pumps or the pump, yeah. It will detect it automatically and trigger the protection mechanism. It will reduce the rotation speed and it will access the status of run and stop, run and stop to sharply reduce the friction, the heat generation, when in this abnormal scenario of dry run. When the water inflow comes sufficiently again, yeah, the pump will restart to normally full speed run. Okay, it's a good feature. The other typical feature is that this pump is equipped with the constant power design when the pumping voltage is over voltage. Namely, if we, it happens that we, we as users power this pump with 28 watts DC power supply, yeah, the power consumption will be still kept almost equivalently as when being powered at 24 watts. So 24 watts to about 28 or 30 watts DC within this wattage range, over wattage yet still within a reasonable range. The pump's power consumption will be kept almost constantly rather than increase along with the rise of the powering voltage. This is a good feature to protect the electronic circuits, components inside to work in a reliable and stable environment. Yeah, because the power will not increase in this context. Okay, uh, it's a brief description of the pump DC55JE24320 A model. It's a speed adjustable pump, yeah. And the power cord is specially customized, four pin connector. But if we cut it off, two sub cables with it, yeah. Of course, normally, we do not offer the power supplies, including the power adapters to our users. Yeah, since it is the DC pump. And as to what type of power supplies our users want to drive to run this pump, it depends on your own demand. However, uh, here we do have the matching HDC power adapter that is designed to better handle the, the pump's 
running applicable for North America. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will. I will roughly show the power adapter that we will offer when you need when our users specially demand. Yeah. This is the AC DC power adapter to convert in the AC to the machine DC twenty four volts to run this pump, and. Uh, later we will see the read the parameters and this is the AC plug matching the AC plugging in United States or North, other North American nations, right? Okay, it is removable AC plug and front spec or parameters. Let's take a read regarding this spe special power adapter its power cord is also customized to better match the, the high power pump special connector okay from spec of the parameters as we see input is supports 100 to 240 watts 50 60 hertz 3.5 amps output is supports 24 watts dc 10 amps namely the output uh, power can reach 240 watts okay this is a specially customized power adapter, and uh, as we see, it is also specially customized as the four pin connector. And here, actually, we can remove it off. Four pin, yeah, four hole, right? And the palm happens to be the four hole, right? Actually, essentially, it will always be two polarities, one positive, the other negative, DC 24 watts. We can roughly connect them. Okay, let's take a whole look of the whole connection picture. Okay. This is the extra uh, converter cable. We place it aside. This is AC plug matching the AC plugging in North America. AC input, then this power adapter will come out to save 24 watts DC with sufficient power capacity. And then we can connect it with the pump. This is the control box part, bring power to the whole pumping system. Yeah. And here, control box part, then go to the pump body part, then the pump body, of course, being connected in the system, right? It's a whole picture of the connection. Okay. Specially customized four pin connector. If our users do not uh, conveniently find the matching connector, perhaps in most scenarios, we cut it off and then we will see polarities, uh, some cables busy. Yeah. No matter what, essentially, they are identical. Positive and negative, right? Actually, not only this DC55 JE high power pump is designed with the four pin, with the four pin style. Uh, some other high power pumps of our series are also designed in with this identical power cord style. Let me pick some other pumps to roughly uh, taking as reference. This is our. Okay, take a look. This is our DC80E 24 a one model. As we see, 32 millimeters, one inch threaded, yeah, inlet, outlet. This pump is with power consumption about 150 watts, yeah. So it is also a high power pump, and we also customized it in the format of four pins, two positive, the other two negative, okay. This is 150 watts DCTE pump model. And then we go to even larger 200 watts our DC85E model. Yeah, it's significantly more heavy. 200 watts, 24 watts DC. The max horizontal flow rate can reach up to uh, 13,500 liters per hour. The max lift is about 10 meters. Okay. Inlet outlet 40, 40 millimeters. Yeah. And here, 
is power cord is also specially customized for pin. Actually, to all these three pumps, we can use this pump adapter to offer the power, offer the power to the pumps. Yeah, see, since it is matching, front back of output and power cord. Okay, let's make a brief summarization. Our high power pumps, including DC55 GE, 160 watts, DCDE, 150 watts, and even larger, DC85 E, 200 watts. They are all customized with the four pin connectors. Yeah, we look at it in the way of anti clockwise. The first two pins will be positive, the other two pins will be negative. Yeah. And the power adapter is with output capacity of 24 volts DC times. Namely, the output power consumption can reach 240 watts. Okay, it's a, a brief summarization. And furthermore, as a further comparison, we can pick a lower power pump of our series, a significantly smaller pump. It will be another type of the power cord. This is our classical, yeah, classical, yet a considerably strong micro brushless DC water pump of our series, namely our DC55E24160 as model. This pump is about 80 watts, and this is power cord is this type, the DC head, yeah, inner positive, outer negative. If we cut it off, it will also be two polarities. Yeah, so essentially, they are always equivalent. If we cut them off from spec of polarities, DC 24 watts. Just the different types of connectors. Okay, uh, this video is recorded to roughly display the power cord about this DC 55 GE pump and the machine power adapter. The power adapter is normally not offered, but if specially demanded, it can be offered. Yes. Okay, so we thank you for your time about this video about our Shasky Micro Brushless DC water pumps. Thank you.